Hey guys, welcome back to the Holiday Road Travel Channel. We are in the beautiful Glacier National Park in Montana. This one's been on our list for a while. <laughs> I feel so like we're... we've been planning this for like over a year. He's been so excited about coming here. We just love it so, so far. So our first stop is Lake McDonald where we've seen these Facebook pictures of just amazing colored rocks uh, and crystal clear water. And then we're heading up into the mountains. Here at the Lake McDonald Lodge, you can rent kayaks, rowboats, um, and other watercraft to get out onto Lake McDonald to see that crystal clear water and to see the colored rocks that lie beneath. So Deanna and I are in Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park, Montana. Um, super cool. I've seen so many pictures of this on Facebook of just these bright, vibrant colored rocks that you can see all the way to the bottom because it's so clear. And this water is just insanely clear. So beautiful here. This is a great time to remind you to subscribe to our channel. If you are enjoying all of our trips and adventures, we would love to take you along. So Lake McDonald is known for these amazing rainbow colored rocks. And the water is just crystal clear all the way up to these mountains. <laughs> we have only made one stop so far in Glacier National Park and we are already loving it. It does not disappoint. All right, hot tip, Glacier National Park, you have to have a vehicle reservation for going to the Sun Road. Mm -hmm. And going to the Sun Road is only open a few months out of the year. So make sure you plan ahead, get those reservations and pick a time when it's gonna be open. Waterfalls are my favorite thing in nature. So, uh, so going to the Sun Road in Glacier National Park is one of the most scenic drives in America but it is only open from Memorial Bay until mid-September. So it's super important to plan uh, because it, it can get snow and icy conditions the rest of the year because it goes so high up into the mountains. Um, hopefully, as you'll see here, it's gonna wind right along the edge of some cliffs and I'm excited. best part about America's national parks are the smell. It smells like an air freshener and we're just outside. It does not get any better than that. So the water starts all the way up here and goes all the way down. So we are here uh, Labor Day weekend, but this park is super crowded 
very hard to find parking, so just uh, be aware of that. We're on our first real hike for the day. It's a little hot today and we're going on a big hike tomorrow. So we've been trying to keep uh, the hiking down today, but we're going to see a lake and some waterfalls and I'm hoping to see another bear, but Deanna is not so much. So we almost always stay in hotels for our trip, but we decided to do something different. When in Montana, we rented a, uh, an Airbnb um, little cabin. So it's kind of rustic, but kind of neat. So tomorrow is the biggest thing on our itinerary for the trip, which is um, the Highline Trail 13 mile hike. I'm super pumped, but that's gonna be in another video. So make sure you stick around and are subscribed to the channel so you see when we post that one. Um, but for tonight, we picked out a restaurant called the Montana Club, I believe. Um, so we're gonna wander into town in Cali Spell, Montana, uh, and then later into Whitefish, Montana, just to see what's around uh, and go from there. We are currently on our way to dinner. Tonight we're getting burgers and steak, so it should be pretty good. Uh, if you've noticed in any of the videos though, there is a little bit of a haze going on in Montana right now due to some wildfires in Montana on also the surrounding states. Um, so we're hoping it clears up a little bit tomorrow, but it's probably gonna be about the same. or if that place was really amazing, but seriously, one of the best burgers I've had in a long time. It was good, and the steak was okay, but the appetizer was good. We got a little uh, creamy crab dip. Yeah. That was good. Um, sides were good, and I did try a burger, it was really good. Yes, and I had huckleberry tea, all so good. So that's the Montana Club, about 20 minutes outside of Glacier National Park. Yes, we recommend. So 
Sweet Peaks Ice Cream here in town says that they create thought-provoking flavors, which I wasn't sure what it meant, but my thoughts are provoked. It's pretty good. I got uh, Grizz Tracks, which is like a caramel-based flavor. Not too bad. I got a s'mores flavor ice cream per usual, and it's wonderful. Hey guys, that wraps it up for day one in Glacier National Park and the surrounding areas in Montana. We are back at the cabin getting ready for a big hike tomorrow. Um, so we are hiking the world famous Highline Trail. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you're alerted when that video comes out so you can follow us on our next great adventure through Glacier National Park. You don't want to miss it.